Bizu are working hard to prepare for opening day tomorrow, and there are some new faces ready to greet you, and some changes from last year you should know about. Tonight, News 8's Colin Riviello shows us what to expect at your trip to Nayabi Zoo. It's new tonight at 10. Behind the locked gates at Nyabi Zoo is an animal kingdom waiting to be explored. It's going to be a fun season. We have about 600 individual animals here and about 150 different species. Some of which are brand new to the area, like this baby African Cape porcupine in the biodiversity exhibit. So this is actually the first of the porcupine births here at Nyabi Zoo, so it was very exciting for us. And just a short trip away, using Nyabi's new e-scooters dubbed Scooter Pals, are a pair of Red River Hogs, the zoo's first ever pig species. Red River Hogs are a great species to just kind of showcase another type of animal and ecosystem that you'd see um, <clears throat> in Africa. But to care for animals not native to North America, like Kenya the giraffe, requires creativity. So we use this container board feeder. We'll put his food in these containers here, and then he's got to use his tongue to get in there. But above all else, is protecting their health. COVID has affected animals in zoos as well as people. Uh, we have a number of susceptible species here. That's why visitors can't go inside the giraffe habitat just yet. But Jackson says Kenya will still be visible to the public. In Coal Valley, Colin Riviello, WQAD News 8. And the zoo is preparing to unveil two new species to the Quad City Zoo. The African Painted Dog Exhibit will be ready by early June, and the Prairie Dog Exhibit will be open in late August. Starting tomorrow, the zoo will be open daily from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m.